Welcome back to Asia tonight. If you're just joining us, here's a reminder of our top story this hour. Malaysia has amended the federal constitution to lower the voting age from 21 to 18. And the bill was passed with full support from all 211 MPs. Now for more, let's cross over to our correspondent Melissa Go in Kuala Lumpur right now. Mel, tell us what's the significance of actually lowering the voting age? Well, this is what the youth and sports minister, Syed Sadiq, uh, told me. Now, he's been busy reaching out to both sides, including opposition MPs, to secure support for the constitutional amendment to lower the voting age to 18. Now, for starters, he said it means that over 3 million Malaysians who are not registered will automatically become voters. Now, on top of the 1.5 million young voters, they are age 18 and 21. So come next election, the GE 15th, which must be, which must be held by year 2023, there's going to be an additional 7.5 million voters to the existing electorate of about 15 million right now. Also, increasing youth votes also means that the government will have to listen closely to the youth voice. Their opinions and their wishes will shape the country's policies he said. Now, Dr. Male, the Prime Minister, said youth these days are more mature and they should be empowered and play a role in strengthening democracy in the country. It is a victory for all sides, not just for bipartisan politics. Now, coincidentally, Glenda, the vote today is also historic in a way because none of the MPs who were present voted against it. All 211 were present in support. Now, today is also Pakatan Harapan marking its first anniversary of convening the first parliament session after having won the last election in May. Glenda? Okay, you mentioned that, you know, victory on both sides. So why did the opposition support this bill again? Well, the opposition bloc, the opposition MP, they're led by ex-ruling party AMNO, they are honouring their words, basically, because Dr. Mahathir, the, the Prime Minister, has secured their support last week already by giving in to, giving in to what they want, which is to allow automatic registration of voters and candidacy at the age of 18. So there's no reason for the opposition to object now. Also, it's hard to say which side is going to benefit most from lowering the voting age come the next elections. It's up to both sides to strategize to capture the imagination of young voters below 38, 30 years of age going to constitute more than half of the electorate by then. So it's up to them to capture their imagination. Now, this is not just Pakatan Harapan fulfilling the electoral promises to the people. They said this is a victory for you. Back to you, Glenda. All right, thanks for that. Melissa Goh speaking to us from Parliament House in Kuala Lumpur, where Malaysia has now agreed to lower the voting age from 21 years to 18 years old.